Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. I'm Hannah Wallace. This Naples Herald lunch break is sponsored by RP2 USA, the only local Google Premier partner in Southwest Florida. This afternoon, we'll tell you about a flood watch update in Southwest Florida, a high school football game in Fort Myers, and more. Today is Monday, August 28th, and this is the lunch break. Flood watches remain in place for much of Southwest Florida on Monday as a streak of nasty weather is set to continue for at least another day, according to the National Weather Service. A flood watch is in place for Collier County through 8 p.m. on Monday and 9 p.m. in Lee County. Schools in both Lee and Collier County were closed Monday after a weekend which saw many area road floods out and become impassable. Some, like Trade Center Way in Naples and Island Park Road in South Fort Myers, saw multiple feet of standing water, stranding cars, and leaving people stuck where they are. But good news may be on the way. The system, which produced the drenching rains, now called Potential Tropical Cyclone 10, has moved northward and the center of circulation is now off Florida's Atlantic coastline. Moisture associated with it is still going to impact our weather, but it should start clearing up on Tuesday. For more on this story, go to NaplesHerald.com. The Florida Supreme Court said Friday it will hear arguments this fall in a case that could help shape the future of the court. The Supreme Court scheduled arguments for November 1st in a battle about whether Governor Rick Scott will have the authority to appoint as many as three new justices as he leaves office in January 2019. The League of Women's Voters of Florida and Common Cause filed the lawsuit in June, seeking a ruling that would allow Scott's successor to appoint the new justices. The outcome of the case could play a big role in the future makeup of the Supreme Court, particularly if a Democrat is elected in November 2018 to replace Scott, who is a Republican. Three justices widely viewed as part of a liberal bloc, Justice Barbara Pariente, R. Fred Lewis, and Peggy Quince, will have to leave the court in January 2019 because of a mandatory retirement age. Scott's attorneys argue that he has the constitutional authority to pick replacements for the new justices. They also argued in a document filed law a month last night that, that the lawsuit should be dismissed because it presumes that a future dispute will occur about the appointments. The document, for example, said the three justices could step down from the Supreme Court before January 2019. But attorneys for the League of Women's Voters and Common Cause fired back this week in a court document that said that Scott has already made clear he plans to appoint replacements. As a result, attorneys for the voting rights group said the Supreme Court should resolve the issue in advance instead of waiting for a legal battle after Scott makes his appointments in January 2019. For more on this story, go to LeeHerald.com. Fort Myers coach Sam Sirianni Jr. joked that the rain, which held off until just after the final whistle, was an act of intervention on a late night honoring his late father. Coach Sam let the game end, then he let it rain in, Sirianna Jr. said, as the skies opened up moments after the green wave rolled to a 33-7 win over Cluiston on Saturday on Sam Sirianna United Edison Stadium in Fort Myers. Delayed by torrential rains on Friday, a soaked field and occasional light drizzle in the first half made for a sloppy start to the night. For details on how the game went, go to naplesherald.com. And that was the lunch break for today. I'm Hannah Wallace. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you right here tomorrow.